when we decided, oh, <laughs> hi, Sebastian. Oh boy. So we decided to get a Whip It puppy and we did not know what a process that would be. Um, here's Sebastian. Uh, we, when we started months ago, we had our name on, um, we filled out applications. We had our name in on waiting lists, like all over, all over the country, anywhere from Florida to Michigan, anywhere that, uh, we thought might have puppies. We thought we'd be waiting, um, possibly a year, um, or six months, uh, you know, some places said anywhere from six months to, to a year to be on the list, um, for a puppy. Uh, and then when we were leaving Florida from the winter, we ended up getting an Airbnb in Jacksonville and came across a Whippet while we were walking down the street back from dinner. And he gave us the name of his breeder, um, where he got the puppy from, uh, his puppy was eight months old and we contacted her the next day and did a phone interview and found out she was having puppies, um, March 4th. So, um, we were excited. We, at the time, thought we were on um, the waiting list for being number six. And uh, so it's been a journey. It's been a very long journey. And this is our story to kind of share with you uh, what we did um, and how we got a puppy. And we're still working on getting the puppy. Um, but how we were getting a puppy and all of our adventures and travels that we want to share with our puppy after we get to bring uh, the puppy home. So the puppies were born on March 4th. Uh, we got the text about that. We're super excited. So here's a few images of the puppies uh, right after they were born uh, that the breeder texted us. Uh, like I said, it's been a long journey to watch them be born since March 4th, and we will continue uh, to tell you our story about them. Hi, meet Sebastian. This is our son's Vishla. He is the reason why we decided we were ready to get another puppy. We fell in love with him and realized how much we missed having a little puppy in our lives. And we did a lot of research to figure out that we want to get a Whippet. We want a cuddly dog, just like Sebastian. The Vishla is a very cuddly dog. So today's the day we actually get to look at the Whippet puppies from the breeder that we found. Um, we are so excited. The puppies were born about two weeks ago on, I think it was March 4th. And uh, last night she sent us some pictures and we are gonna get to do a virtual visit today to actually see them. So here, let me flip it around and show you the pictures. This is, we think our number one pick. Uh, they call her Sarah. Uh, this one I think is either Razzle or Dazzle. This is another good choice too. They're so cute. Another picture of Sarah. Uh, this is Cookie. This is another one we kind of like. Actually, we've decided we like them all. This is Cookie. And this is Razzle or Dazzle. I'm not sure which one's which. It's got very pretty coloring. Razzle or Dazzle again. This one is Mimi. She's got one colored ear. Otherwise, the rest of her is all white. This is Dallas. He's got two colored ears, so really cute too. And then this last one is Austin, which is also adorable. So we kind of think Austin and Sarah are our favorite coloring right now. Uh, this is what, uh, almost the whole litter, it's missing one of the dogs in this one. There's the one with the whole litter. So there's seven puppies to choose from. We think we're the third pick, so we're not sure. Um, so we'll find that out today as well. Um, and then in about six weeks, we get to, well, actually four weeks, we get to go visit the puppies when they're six weeks and actually pick them out. And here's the little guy, Sebastian, again. He's so bored. He needs a puppy friend so bad to play with. Don't you, buddy? You need a puppy friend. Zoom meeting in progress. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. Happy, so nice to meet you, too. Did you go this way? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here are the babies. So we ended up with five girls, two boys. Aww. And two girls, they're just opening their eyes. And when they very first open their eyes, their eyes are blue. So this is, we have Razzle and Dazzle. That is Razzle. This is Dazzle. And they are red with brindling. Yeah. So cute. We think they're all adorable. <laughs> so here they all are in their little basket. We have two white ones. But you guys are third. I think the white ones are going to go first and second. Oh, really? This 
And I'm not sure, but first pick is is really just set on him. You know, we won't know till six weeks, but that's just kind of where it looks like right now. Yeah. And second pick only wants a girl. First pick only wants a boy. So I think that you guys will have choice of one boy and the rest of the girls uh -huh. um, being third. Um, Unless things change. So here's Miss Mimi. That's the white one. Aww. She's such a whiner. She's so funny. She was whining all day yesterday. Everybody kept laughing at her. <laughs> Is it Cookie? That's Cookie. Aww, she's cute. There's the smallest. But Cookie's pretty tiny. She's super sweet. She's fawn brindle all over. Those eyes are so much bigger than yesterday. Wow. Yeah, they didn't have their eyes open much in the pictures yesterday. That's cute. No. Yeah, well, they mostly were sleeping, so I could get them to stand still, but this is Sarah. Sarah. I, see, we're kind of like torn. Like, we looked at all of them. We're like, it's so hard to decide, so we we're kind of glad we weren't the first pick, because we think it'd be yeah. so hard. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so challenging. First pick is actually coming back for their second, and so this is Austin. And they knew with the first one they wanted a boy, now they want a boy again. So Austin only has half his eyes open. He's such a love. Oh. Uh -huh. Austin, I showed you. And Sarah is the littlest. Uh -huh. So there really is no bad puppy. You know what I mean? They're yeah. Sweet. And now Mama is around here. She had to go potty. I heard she was getting upset. I was holding on a leash. Oh. Uh -huh. so and she's trying to figure out how she's going to get into that basket with those babies. Baby! She's an excellent mom, very, very friendly. She will kiss you galore. Yesterday, she literally was laying on a little girl's lap she had just met, nursing her entire litter. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, she is so killer sweet. Um, so she would get right in here with them. You want to live now? Uh -huh. so, so right now, they're just kind of puppy blobs. You yeah. Know? They're, so, they're so little. The most important thing is open Open your ears, you know, start start listening, start seeing. You know, we're going to take first steps here in a little bit. Aww. So, you know, they, they, they do a funny little staggered gait in the beginning, you know, so it's so funny. But they cuddle, they eat. They eat only from mama still. They are really, you know, just, just being nursed by her. Um, but they will start to get their little teeth and... You know, they already have a little tiny teeth in here. They are so cute. <laughs> I know, they're so precious. They smell so good. They're little puppy breath. <laughs> so cute. Oh. I know, it's precious. Look, this guy under here is my little, that's Dallas. He's so fat. He's underneath the whole pile and just loving every minute of it. <laughs> oh, my, my friends, my girls, my sisters. Oh, how much these little red ones look alike. Yeah. yeah. Dazzle, they really do look a lot alike. I know. And the white ones do. The white ones actually look more similar than um than I thought they were going to when they were first born. She she whines so much. She's busy whining right now. <laughs> yeah, that's so cute. Yeah, we were kind of going back and forth. We're like, oh, I think we like Sarah and Austin first. And then we're like, but Razzle and Dazzle are so cute. And Cookie. You know, we love the coloring, I think, of the, like, the Sarah and Austin and the cookie, but then we're like, man, the Razzle and Dazzle are adorable, too. I love the red. All of it is so pretty. And so I think you'll have all those puppies to choose from. And, and you're going to come down, so you'll get to meet them all, yeah. you know, in person and, and really see, you know, see little size differences and stuff. Yeah. You know, boys are super, super sweet, um, but so are girls. Boys are a little bigger. Girls can be up maybe a little a little smarter, you know, they're, they're a little more driven. The boys are just kind of attached to us all the time. <laughs> boys are definitely bigger, though. You know, Austin's bigger now, and I think he'll be bigger as, a, as an adult. And you'll see that when you come, because the boys will be like, Dad. The girls will be like, Mom, I know he's so stinking cute. Oh, what a hand. They... Uh, Austin, he's adorable. Really, there's no bad puppy. That's what I tell everybody, you know. Like, I mean, they're so stinking sweet. And they're so loving to handle it every single day. Aww. Like, so cute. Yeah. I know. I think we keep thinking, well, maybe when we meet them and see the personalities, that might make a, make help us decide. Because right now, they're all just so adorable. <laughs> and that's why we wait. That's why we wait till they're six weeks. Because it doesn't make any sense to pick on a little blob right now. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. 
you want to see what you want to connect with. And sometimes yes. it's the one that probably hurts you, but sometimes it's the one that lays in the dog bed. And they're like, oh, I think we like that one. Right, so, right. So you just kind of take it all in and see which one, you know, seems like it's going to fit into your family. Yeah. You know? uh -huh.